High traders, S&P 500 gained another 0.7% last week and the market once again reached new highs as investors keep on buying the rumors of lower tax and deregulation. Now that the market is very, very expensive and most of the news are out, Trump's Congress speech, Snapchat IPO, and even Yellen who mentioned that uh, she expects three rate hikes during this year, it is time to sell the news. As the saying says, buy the rumor, sell the news. I believe that we are at about the point of selling the news. So there's only one more news item left. This is February employment report on Friday. And until then, I expect a moderate pullback and afterwards, probably more than that. By the way, nothing dramatic. Let's take a technical view of the market. As you can see, the S&P 500 is very, very high and just crying for a pullback. Again, these lines that I painted a few weeks ago at the 2300s and the 2200s, I think we should visit those lines first before we want to continue higher, if at all. So right now I'm looking for a pullback. Let's take a look at last week picks. My first pick last week was Mastercard MA long over 111.07. It did well, moved up by 1.6%, however, did not reach yet my 3% target. So is my second pick, which is A long, moved up by 0.8%, but did not get to my 3% target. Still waiting for that with a stop loss, as always, at 3%. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is Excel Long over 2350. It's a biopharmaceutical bio company from the States. It looks great, very nice bull flag, plus a very nice uptrend. Go long over 2350. Again, same rules, 3% first target, 3% loss, stop loss. My second pick for the week is Yelp. Now, as you can see, I'm looking for a short under $32.97. It moved down recently. I think it's going to continue its downtrend, especially if it's going to get some back wins from the market, which I kind of expect is going to happen soon. So Yelp short, and I wish you a great trading week and see you next week.